Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here from Like Designs bringing you another solar system tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make Venus. And making Venus is very easy, but there's two ways a person would possibly want to make Venus. Way number one is the easiest way and it's the way in which you only use the clouds. Because um, for a person who wants to make a realistic Venus would use only the cloud because um, when you're viewing Venus, if you were to somehow magically be able to fly out into the solar system and you were to look at Venus, you would only see its clouds because the, the atmosphere is so thick that um, you wouldn't be able to see the, the actual surface of Venus. So that's the most realistic way of viewing Venus, which is the clouds. And obviously way number two is... Um, See, that looks pretty realistic. That's how you would actually see it in real life. Um, way number two is actually remove the cloud. Um, it's not adding the, the cloud at all. Usually some people just want um, the surface seen, um, which is not the most realistic way, but it's the way that looks best, I think. Um, so you dry, uh, the first, first of all, download these materials. Go to um, planetpixelemporium.com when you go there you'll be greeted with this home menu just go to planet textures and then select venus and here you'll find uh, these if you want the cloud um the cloud uh texture just um click on the other link i'll have available on here um mega upload you'll be able to download it from there now first thing you want to do is like i always say remove the specular uh doesn't look good at all so just remove it add the um the actual texture onto the map onto the globe if you render this out it'll look like this like that um, next thing you want to do is double click on that go down to bump texture load image and then load wherever you save the bump file at I saved it on my planets folder <coughs> Venus bump open yes full MIP um, now Venus has a bump to it it'll look like this Venus would actually definitely probably look like this um, reason being it's it's very harsh landscaped it's very ruled by um, hot surface um, volcanoes and stuff and it's very inhabitable by humans period this looks actually this actually looks pretty nice the um but um in real life you wouldn't see venus like this but some people just want it like this for some reason if you think that the bump is too much then uh what you should do is just lower the intensity very simple although i wouldn't do it i like the extreme bump to it so here you go um, that was Venus um, if you want you could also add the cloud layer on top of the earth layer but there's really no point um, so just duplicate the sphere delete that make the sphere a bit bigger than the last one add the cloud and there you go like I always say remove specular uh, you could add a fog effect to it to make the actual earth the actual ground visible but that's not realistic at all Venus wouldn't actually look like that Venus wouldn't at all look like that it would just look like this this is actually gonna look see-through I bet yeah Yeah, Venus, um, actual Venus would just have the clouds visible like this. So if you want it actually realistic, it w w whatever scene you're making um, for any single thing, um, this is the best way to go, I think, making Venus actually look realistic. And if you wanted to spin the, uh, the actual spin to it, um, turn this over to the side because every planet really has a tilt to it so you turn it over to this side and then create a keyframe right here 
take this all the way to the side, spin it, create another keyframe. This will create a little spin to it. Yeah, so that was it. That was Venus. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, please rate my channel and subscribe to it as I'll keep on making these um, solar system videos um, all the way out to Pluto which is not a planet but um, just for the sake of the video the Pluto is part of our solar system so I will be making that so yeah thanks for watching please rate and subscribe